Hi, I'm Heather Boyd and this is Lisa Brooks and we're coming at you from Brocady Dance Studio. We wanted to talk to you a little bit about protecting your copyright in choreography. So Lisa, what do you think is the best way of protecting your, your copyright in choreography? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so I would think that if you had some materials from the creation process, hanging on to that, whether it be a video or some notes that you'd have, that might be a good start, but I, I wouldn't really be sure. So that's a, that's a huge first start, because a lot of choreographies actually start um, in selecting the music mm -hmm. and then being able to picture various dance movements to that, to that music, right? And I know that both you and your mom actually write little notes. They're cryptic, they're really <laughs> hard to read. But that in and of itself is proof that you've created this. So the best way of protecting that is to make sure you always have your, your notes where you're talking about what, what dance movements to make, even if it's arm movements and whatnot. Make sure you date that piece of paper when you first start writing on it. And make sure you attach whatever music piece that you're using as well. Now when it comes to editing that music piece, that's a whole different other type of copyright that we're not going to get into right now. But I just wanted to make sure that people understand that the ownership of copyright comes and it can be protected and making sure that once you've finished the choreography, you actually take a video of it and you can mail that to yourself or keep it date stamp as long as it's date stamped. Right. If at all, any time you perform that, then that's what you call your publishing date, so you can claim um, a published work at that point if you have to seek copyright um, protection in order to file a copyright infringement suit mm -hmm. or whatnot. Taking those those notes um, and mailing them to yourself, mm -hmm. that date stands right. them as well. So make sure you retain that. Generally speaking, copy them, yep. mail them to yourself, <laughs> and and then and then continue working. And don't open the envelope. Just keep that so that it's date stamped so that you can show that. So. Those are the basic ones. When it comes to costumes, dance costumes, those are copyright protected. Ownership is when you create the, right. the design yeah. on those. And then the finished copy as well. Again, taking all those pictures mm -hmm. and, and um, mailing them to yourself uh, or having them performed in public, that provides a publishing thing. <laughs> That's copyright and choreography. Make yeah. sure you protect your IP.